The goal of tonight was really to talk about what all the, the kind of pieces are, what you want to be able to do in the library. The next session is going to be more about locating things, what should be on the ground floor, what should be on the second floor, kind of where, where things are located in the space. I'm Mike Jankowitz from table number three, and um, as you can see, one of the, if you can see, one of the major things we wanted was books. It's a library. Hard copies of periodicals, discovery of books, accessibility, the availability of books, the ability to see them, browse, have them on the shelf. We need the ability to adapt the space because we don't know what the situation will be in 10 or 20 years. The business library, I don't know why that's disappearing and neither did most of the rest of us. More public space. There's been an immense reduction in public space in the entire city. Basically, the library is going to be redu reduced in size. One could argue that there were spaces that weren't being used here now, but they were designed to be used, and at one time they were being used. So I don't know how we're going to be able to get a library as functional as this is intended to be and has been in the past into a space that is that much smaller. So my particular question was, why is it that much smaller? And we wanted as much space as we had. Thank you. My name is Lori Bonaventura. I'm on the CAC. There's a lot of um, input from the community to have a an auditorium space that's much bigger and can accommodate a lot more people than we have in this library now. So between 2,000 and 3,000 square feet. One thing we really do want to keep are books and we want books on every level. Books for kids, books for teens, books for adults. So when you come in you see books not um, only uh, laptops and computers. My name is Babette Prola. My table supported all the wonderful things that everybody was advocating. There is a limited amount of space in any facility and particularly in this facility, but there's no other space other than a library that provides space for books, both to shelve books, to have them in attractive displays, to encourage people to browse and discover books they never knew they were interested in. Our first priority was physical space for books. We come to libraries because, in fact, they're a respite from the digital world. In the future, people will look at areas of physical books and that are cut off from the screened world as a very precious, endangered resource, especially the younger generation, which may have virtually no experience with the concentration that it takes to curl up and read a 300-page book. And so our priority is books, a sense of communal shared space for ideas, for discovery. Um, we want activities for books, for quiet places to think and read, to, for research, to have displays that help you find what you need, but also give you the serendipity of being confronted by new books, new ideas. We want to experience life in a non-digital way. The primary focus of the library should be books. Thank you. I'm Deborah Howland. Let's see how far we can stretch this. And um, our group decided that we want everything. So if we try to get everything, we'll be happy with what we get. We want books, we want lots of books, we want a librarian, we want periodicals, we want people to be able to come and sit and read. We have, uh, we want activities, we have kids classes, crafts for kids, 
We also have kids doing homework over here, so quiet space, performance space, activities such as reading. Um, facilities, we have want a teen space, we want a dedicated teen lounge, we want a children's area, and we talked about amenities, so coffee, um, charge station, bicycle parking, and stroller parking, and uh, handicap accessibility, natural light, we want an auditorium with a stage. This place is a hub of the community. Therefore, we requested a lot of restrooms, and I think that's about it. Did I leave anything out? I'm Claude Scale. What brings you to the library? Kind librarians. Humans to speak to. Programming for all different age groups, uh, adults, children, teens. Workshop spaces. Conference spaces uh, for meetings like this. Also performance space uh, with a, a bigger stage. A meeting space for private use. Computers uh, for public use. Business areas uh, to help people looking for jobs or looking for advice on how to start or maintain a business, many catalog terminals to uh, help you find materials in the library, wall space where yeah, local local painters can uh, exhibit. Just like everybody else, we want lots and lots of books, lots of shelf space, at least as much as we have here. Same amount of space for the adults and children's areas, a quiet space for study, and that's it. Hi, I'm Karen. This is table one. We said we wanted pretty much all the resources. But someone mentioned coordinating with other institutions like the Brooklyn Historical Society. We talked a lot about wanting flexible spaces that can be used for a lot of things. We don't know what the library will be doing 30 years from now. Let's make something that can probably be doing that. And similarly, like durable, good construction. Everyone seemed to like the photos of open, airy spaces with big windows. There's a small outdoor space in this library that's not really accessible much of the time, so making that open, available, even connected to the inside space, whether literally or with windows. Adults tend to want open, airy spaces. For kids, we like the whimsical, playful pictures. We also talked a lot about trying to balance quiet space and activity space, or even just talking space. So the people who want to come in and read aren't bothered by kids who want to come in and chit-chat, or even adults who want to come in and chit-chat. Um, you know, we pulled out seating options that we liked, but we thought having diversity would be great. Having places where you can sit by yourself or with other people to read by yourself or talk. Um, I think flexibility was our theme. Hi everyone, I'm Ed. So we kind of saw it as a healthy mix of print and digital media. We certainly don't want books to go away, but not only books, but periodicals, newspapers, the like. Clear zones for different groups would be nice, so that like the young kids versus the teens versus the adults. Within that is this idea of flexible multi-use spaces. So not only like a place to read, but also study areas, private cubicles, um, computer spaces, and also a space that accommodates for like talks and meetings. The idea of accessibility and also assistive technology. One last point was definitely natural light, skylights, whatever kind of uh, basically kind of what you don't have in a space like this. I'm um, Judy. Laptops would give us a lot more flexibility because they can be put away and then the room can be used for other things and you can also move them around. Yeah. Also would love to have, if at all possible, an outdoor park space and uh, changing tables in all the restrooms, uh -huh. men's and women's. That's it.